Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Charlemagne series and in this episode guys we're going to continue with Poland obviously we have our army going back to the capital where we're going to dismiss it and we're going to work on improving our country so first when you check the religion you can see in here that there is a Slavic religion and some of my provinces have old Slavic so we'll have to convert this guy to our new faith and obviously we have here Romava that we are converting right now. Okay, that's the army walk slowly and we'll work on the council members. Our court chaplain, we could employ a new one. Or we could find out what happens to the guy that used to be our religion head, head person. Okay, I can't release him for some reason, he's still held by this guy in here. Who is at war at the same time? Let's see, who is he warring against? Okay, he's defending a Lithuanian revolt. Well, they can revolt as much as they want. That's fine, I don't mind that. We'll weaken him. That's okay. And yeah, so let's try to figure out how we can get this guy out. can revoke his title, but that's not going to do much. No, we can't do anything with him. Okay. So let's just get a new court chaplain. And it's going to be this woman in here. Okay, Lucia. She can be my court chaplain. She's going to be some strange person, really. She's a bastard. She's genuine. Genuine, so she's a really clever person. Charitable, insightful, rough, zealous, diligent, and maimed. So she had some hard life, this poor woman. And she would like to become my chaplain, that's her ambition. Okay. You become my chaplain then. And that's great. And we're going to convert some people in here. So I think people we should start converting are the ones that are leading the duchies. So again, let's check the religion map. Somebody in here. Are you the old reformed pagan? You are. Or oh, this guy. No. Could try to convert him, I guess. So that's going to be your job. Convert him. Great. Right. And also, let's check you out. Are you married? You are married. And your husband died. You have one child. It's just a normal child. Okay. 23. It would be reasonable for us, really, to arrange the marriage for her. Quite a few people would marry her. But I would like her to stay in my court. So we'll marry maternally. Some of these guys in here. Let's say... I don't know, we have few people in here. Just marry her to this guy maternally. They can live in my court then. And that's fine. Okay, we'll get that sorted. We also talked about that we're going to create a few duchies, so let's go and create a duchy of Greater Poland. Yep, and it's in here. What is the Dejur claim of that? Stretches there, okay. Let's see if we can grant the title to anyone. We could do. We have to land people first. Okay, before we do anything, let's marry our half brother. He can be married because why not? And now let's grant this title to somebody. So, the Duchy of Greater Poland has these three guys. He quite likes us, and he likes us even more. We could make him a duke, I guess. But make sure he's not ambitious, he's possessed. 
Well then, no. I'm really sorry, but kind of excludes you from being a duke. You're doing alright with two children for being a chaste, really? That's not really chasty at all? That's fine. Grant the land title and half chiefdom of Greater Poland. You can have that. Yeah, we have now. He became a duke and he loves us. Look at that, a hundred. He has some claims on chiefdom of Gniezno and Kalish. That's fine. He can do whatever he wants with them. He already has some claims there. That's fine. Okay, let's create another duchy. Where is that? Duchy of Polosk. Okay, let's create that. We have plenty of money. And it will give us a lot of prestige as well. Okay, that is mine. I can give it to my brother then. That would be great. Okay. Let's go here. Go and grant, grant him a land title. And that is the one. You can have it. And also, grant him a land title again. Okay, and you can have that, and that is great, okay. He's now Duke of this land, and he will rule over this guy, and in here, great. Cool, who are you and why are you here? What are you Duke of? You have like million claims as well. Okay, you are the chief of Lithuania, that's why. Kind of rules over you, the crazy overlapping system in here. Duchy of Gallic. Do I want it or do I don't? Let's see. Okay, I got that. Let's quickly go there and create that. Duchy of Gallic, we can create it because why not? And we have this guy, who likes us quite a bit. We have this woman, she hates us. We can place somebody in here as well. My half-brother got married, that's okay. Okay. Let's grab somebody who loves us. And it's our religion. I will grant him the land over there. So we'll have our trusted person ruling over the land. I want somebody who loves us. So this guy, for example. My marshal. Or this guy in here. Chase? No. He's ambitious. I don't want ambitious person to have a title there. Okay, I think we'll grant it to our Marshal, because at the end of the day we're playing roleplay and he served us well so far. So yeah, grant him a landed title. I want this thing here. Let me just find that. You can have it. And it is yours now. Great. I will... Grant him a land title now and the chiefdom over this land. So you can have it. Okay. I have to wait one day for him. And we can employ him back as a marshal. Awesome. Okay, and I don't want you to lead troops anymore. None of you really, guys. And you train some troops in Krakow. Great. Okay. He's doing that. See what else we can do. The Kingdom of Lithuania, we can't create that. Because 
that would cause some problems and they will become independent, so no. And Duchy of Samagotia. There's only two counties in here. Three counties, little Duchy can rule. Let's create a title here. That's okay. I will grant it to somebody in here who likes us quite a bit. This guy doesn't really hate us. So we can grant him his ti this title. Grand land the title. Where is this that I created? I choose them of something. Where is that? Now this high chief down that I created. You can have that. Let's see what you are ruling over this land here now. Okay. Kingdom and Duchy. So let's create this Duchy in here. And that is great. Okay, and let's see who likes us here. You like me quite a bit. And you like me much more. Well, because you like me so much and you've been good ally, we'll grant you a title of this. Okay, so now we divided everything we could. Yeah, we also have some desert claims in there. That's okay, we don't care about them that much. Let's see if we can offer him vassalization. He will say yes. So we'll send that. Grant the vassal peacefully so we don't have to worry about it. Can we offer vassalization to you? No, because you're at war. Okay. Okay, let the game run. Our army is going back. And now we could look. Kingdom of Poland. Vendish Empire. What are we missing? We need 80% of the land over there. And quite a bit of money. Okay, so with the order to create that, we would have to conquer Pomeneria and this land in here. Maybe something that we'll do in the future, but at the moment we are converting the land to our religion. So we've done all that, let's go to Krakow. And now, Stone Hill Fort. Great, let's build that. 149 gold. We should be okay. And yes, I know I can arrest him, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave him as it is. Okay, guys, let's speed up. And let's go a little bit faster here, send the army back and dismiss them soon. Come on, hurry up. Okay, army is back, now we can dismiss our forces. We'll recover all of them pretty much. It's not bad. Can we build retinues? We can build some retinues, they will cost us money to hold though. I'm not sure if we should or we shouldn't really build them. They are quite expensive. At the moment we've been doing quite okay without them. So I think we'll wait. We we'll have some claims in here. Okay, they're just really pretty much within our own land. So we don't care about them that much. No, that's fine. If my guys attack him, that's okay, they can do that. But I'm not going to attack my ally. And here our vassal limit went to 20. It's not too bad. Even though it's getting dangerously close to our maximum limit and then it's going to create some problems. 
go to Intrigue. Let's see here. Chidon Silesia. Okay, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, and that is not. Strange. I could revoke this title, but that will lose a lot. No. My half brother, I could kill him. Why would I want to do that? I don't want that. Two prisoners, we can release this girl. And who is this woman? Will he want you? He's not interested in his own wife. Oh no, he's not interested in the wife of his one of his guys. So release her from prison then. And let's see where she went. Okay, she went there. We must have captured her, her when we raided this land. Okay guys, when we look at the Dejur Duchis in here. That's going to be our land. We're going to own this. Lesser Poland. And Silesia in here. We'll have to figure out why we can't revoke this guy. Because there usually is an option when you click at him. In the intrigue, instead of killing him, we don't want to kill him because that's ridiculous. What we want to do is to just revoke his land, really. Okay, there is a funny situation here now because Marsh, my marshal, I didn't realize, is his son. So when this block dies, my marshal will own this land. Even though it's not going to be in his Dejur Duchy in here. That's going to be interesting. I have a temple there. I will have this. I think what we're going to do, we're going to build a few things in here. Training ground for our guys. What is a war camp? Light infantry. Archers. Morale of the army and leave the reinforcement rate. Now let's build some training grounds just in our land because we can afford that easily. Or we should spend this prestige for now. There's no point of hoarding it at the moment. We can expand our land as much as we want really because that's really the best idea for us. And training ground in here. Spend a bit of prestige, but we still keep a bit, quite a bit of it. Because we get a lot of it. Look, we get 7.57 prestige every month. We see build the legend monthly gives us a lot. But holding all these titles in here gives us quite a bit of prestige, really. So we'll do fine. Okay, leave your reinforcement rate in Krakow is increased, that's great. And let's speed it in here. Okay, tribal organization, we can increase that to high, because I'm pretty sure that's the one we need to go feudal. Intrigue. Adopt feudalism. And primary title has a has the law absolute tribal organization so we have to go to that okay so let's go to law increase that and that is going to slowly be adopted probably by my guys if I hope so yep easily we cannot change it for the next five years, but that's okay. Let's actually see what it does. Okay, we can actually revoke the titles of anyone who is not reformed pagan now. Tribal vassal now will provide you with levies from this point. That's okay. Tribal vassals will provide you with taxes as well. Enable hard centralization laws for dukes and above. 
and under for Pagan's Tribal Vassal Opinion is minus 20, but that's okay because they will be reformed soon. I will cannot change it till 810, but that's fine as well. And what's going on in here? Let me invite the plot. High Chiefdom of Kurtland granted a new, new ruler. Let me see. Who are you? And who is the ruler of Harshi John of Kurtland? That's the question. Well, let's check us out and see if we will be interested in anything like that. Kind, temperate, and ambitious. Then probably not. Now you can deal with it yourself, and if you change it, that's fine, but I'm not going to get involved in that. Old Slavic has declared Polish Old Slavic Revolt. Really? The Old Slavic Uprising. Alright, that's going to be interesting. We're we going to have some uprisings like that. From the Old Slavic religion until we get rid of them. Let's raise our army in here. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Okay guys, I think we're going to finish here. We're going to continue fighting with this Old Slavic religion uprising later in the next episode. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment because that helps my videos and more people can see them that way. And also remember this series runs Monday to Friday, so I will see you next day. And thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.